As we look forward to the Leaders' Summit over the next five days, beginning with the Foreign Minister's meeting tomorrow, host Fiji is once again ready to host our Melanesian leaders, including delegates from the region. With preparations well underway, it has also been encouraging to note the hard work of delegates and officials during the past few days, which has contributed to our ability to progress further as Melanesians. A series of meetings, beginning with the Police Commissioners Conference, followed by the subcommittee meetings, along with the Trade and Economic Officials meeting, has eventuated with a successful City Officials meeting this week. I think what is important here is to have a very open mind on issues uh, of change, uh, issues of reform, uh, rather than uh, being uh, inward-looking and uh, being rigid in the way we see things. Um, I think as of now, the, the MSG Secretariat has come up with um, initiatives to move this, um, uh, to move forward in terms of uh, the reforms, uh, which can, um, you know, which are already taking place in most of our countries. But as for Fiji, I believe we are taking a, a lead in these areas, and um, and that is why we have been the centre uh, in terms of uh, trying to. Uh, to advocate or to facilitate these uh, changes that are already taking place. As I mentioned, uh, we've taken the, the, um, the initiative to, in terms of moving our police cooperation, um, as well as uh, on um, other uh, trade issues. For delegates, the meeting has also enabled more constructive dialogue and sharing of information amongst MSG member countries which has resulted in successful and encouraging outcomes. The meetings have been very good. Uh, the, we've done this in a very spirit of Melanesia, and so discussions have been frank, uh, open, where there's been uh, tough uh, issues to get through. There's been good discussions, cutting down to uh, the, the, the roots of the issues, and, and the delegates have been very good, and I've enjoyed Listening to the discussions, I've been learning a lot from what has been going on as well. And yes, I, I'm really looking forward to progressing all the outcomes of this, these intense meetings that we've been having this week. Like other member delegates, Mr. Davidson acknowledged the warmth of Fijian hospitality. Oh, you Fijians are marvelous in your hospitality. I, I, I get a smile when I get off the plane. I come when I get to the conference place. I get a smile, I get a good, get a good greeting when I'm on the streets. Uh, people are very friendly and, and it's very good. The taxi service is good and so I really enjoy the hospitality so I'm really thankful to the Fiji government for hosting this very well. And I, congratulations to the Fiji government for that. So Thank you. Meanwhile, preparation works have been completed for the final week of meetings here at the Van Limbosi complex which will also be the venue for the 100 men guard of honor and the traditional Fijian welcome ceremony for the leaders, including the foreign ministers and their spouses. Over the weekend, Fiji's Foreign Affairs Minister Ratu Inoki Kumombola, Permanent Secretary Saipora Matakambara, Deputy Secretary Benjamin Lomoloma, and MSG Secretary Director General Peter Forao were on hand to ensure that all logistical arrangements were in place. Special Administrator for Suva City, Chandu Umaria, has also instructed his workers to ensure that Suva was speak and span, saying he's committed to assisting the MSG meeting in whatever way possible. With the able and remarkable leadership of MSG Chair and Fijian Prime Minister Tosai Vorengen Banimrama, the Fijian hospitality will once again be expressed to our Melanesian One Talks, as this is PM Banimrama's final term as MSG Chair. Whatever the obstacles, we as Melanesians are more determined than ever to achieving our collective outcomes. And in the words of SOM Chair and Foreign Affairs Permanent Secretary Saipora Matakambara, we must think globally, act locally, but endeavor to maintain partnership by taking ownership of our destiny as we chart our pathway forward as Melanesians.